Good morning, Jonah. Pigs, I see, are staying in. Yes. Doubling up on that electric fence did the trick, huh? Is that more pig feed? Yeah. Okay. Extra cucumbers. Not your favorite, huh? It'll be gone by the end of the day. Is that pig feed? Yes. Okay. Look, some of the some of the ices are out. You know what? They're wearing out that pad. If we opened up their net during the day to let them free range, could you remember to shed it? Yeah. And turn their pits on at night. Yes, they're all in it. Okay. They'll come back to their coop. Should I put it on the ground? We well, don't put it on the ground. We don't want them to till. What about I put it on the cow patties? Oh, well, that's awesome. Okay. We learned that at ABC Acres. So we try and encourage them to stay roughly three days behind the cattle. We don't use any electric net fed fencing or anything, so they really go wherever the heck they want. But we go to three days behind the cattle, and we actually spread their grain out in the cow patch. This is hot, and let them have at it. Try encourage the spreading of the manure and break pest cycles. But do you see any cow patties? Yeah. I'll do this one. Here's one. We're on a cow patty hunt. A few under here. Now it's a nine one bet. Go on, Mom. Hey, hey! Papa, don't worry, he's got his advance! Let her smell her. She's probably more curious than anything. Still putting it on the ground. They eat it all. Oh, they don't scratch it up. They do the problem of it. one scoop, you know, having to take it one scoop at a time. Easily solved. Put it in a bucket and then go put it out. Yeah, I brought a bucket to do this to move them. And the bucket just decided that we should do this. Let's go, Mr. Brown. You ready? Ready? Get in it. Get in it. There you go. There's you some blankets. Thank you, Violet, for your contribution. Laurel, I'll get you in a second. We go filter the milk, and then we take Violet back out to the field. Had to tie Laurel up because Almanzo and Royal, both, while I was getting ready to get milk, while I was getting ready to milk, got stepped on. Have you seen, have you seen them? Almanzo's a pig. It was Almanzo's front paw, there he is. Is he gonna be all right? He must be gonna be okay, he got up okay. here. Ready, ready. Oh. It looks swollen a little bit maybe. Wait, maybe ready? It's just wet. Is it this one? I think so. Ready? Okay, he seems like he's gonna be all right. I'm looking out here and I realize, look, when you rotationally graze and you move them every day, you just look and see, did you give them enough? Well look, they've already eaten. They've already eaten this, so all we got to do is open this paddock a little bit more. So they'll get moved twice a day, which is even better than once a day. Something is wrong with my greenhouse plants. Look, these are pretty much decimated. Eating and shriveling. Okay, one thought I had is that I put too much, I didn't dilute my, sh my soap enough and then I did it like three times uh, after each watering. But then there's these, totally unaffected. So I don't know if that's it. These are pretty much unaffected. It's these guys. Look at these turnips. They were doing so good. Did it get too hot? So amped about that. Those were doing so good. Now the bugs and something else is getting them. What am I looking for? The Mr. Jonah! There it is. If there's one Swiss shard that might make it. And then here, the cabbage. 
and broccoli. Afternoon, sauna time. Hey, do you know where our shade cloth is? You caught a sauna time. Shade cloth. I did. Oh, it's sauna time for sweat. Yeah, where's the shade cloth? I'm tackling. Let's see if that'll fit. Maybe we'll get so lucky. I just think it's too hot out here. It just feels like an oven even with that open. There we go. When is the simming gonna be ready? Let's take some stress off these guys. They have the stress of, I think I've, we gave them too much soap. Oh, they don't make them They're make young. They, don't make them make they have people. bug pressure. They don't want to make and then people. the heat, so. This is machine mode. This is lamb mode. Uh oh. We just might need to pay the extra money. What we tried here was a 30 day rest. They haven't hit this area in 30 days, but what they're doing, first of all, they're not eating a lot. And then it's really spotty. That doesn't look good. I'm thinking we have to at least, we'll have to go more than 30 days, especially with dry as it is. Let's, let's try this though, instead of just mowing it, let's let it recover more and just run the sheep elsewhere. Yeah. Okay. We can even take. So let's give them a big old paddock right here. And look, they mow it down to the ground too. And that's going to be damaging. That's, that's going to have a hard time coming back. Thanks. Here's the thing. The first time I ran over the yard with the sheep, they did it just like a mower. It looked great. It's not on. Come through. Where are y'all going? Where are you going? You backtracking, huh? Ah. Come on. New grass over here. Ah. Ah. Come this way, guys. Okay. Ah. That was great. Second time and now the third time, they mow spotty. It's because their manure and fertilizer is there. And ah. the first rotation was 21 days. The second time now was 30 days. Ah. That's not enough for them, I guess. Uh, and I don't blame them. I was hoping we could keep it mowed like a traditional lawn, fairly short, and not let it grow too big. But what it looks like we need to do, Turn it off. throw out all those Turn conventional rules, and see if we can't settle for putting a perimeter fence around it like we have, and that kind of shows, you know, this is kind of a, this is pasture. It's just really, it's just really close to the house. <laughs> so, um, letting it grow up, coming back and hitting it before it goes to seed head. So buying some time elsewhere. In my opinion, it's still a good thing because we're going to get meat out of it. The grass is going to be fertilized. It's going to grow a little longer. That's healthier for the grass, the bugs in it, the ecosystem in it. Uh, the lambs are better than a lawnmower for the ecosystem here. So it's worth pursuing more. All right. Okay, that's the vlog. Coming soon. Opening up for tickets to our hands-on and online masterclass for our chicken butchery. Stay tuned. Look who's just fine. Look who's walking without a lamp. So happy about that. <laughs>